Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you some different ways to have fun with your stencils and using the supplies that you have. So I have a couple of different examples. The majority of the stencils that I'll be using today came from A Colorful Life Designs. I will have their link down below for you and I have a small discount code if you wanna purchase any of them. Um, for this method, this is the only one I'm not gonna show you because I've shown this a million times before in other videos, um, but this is probably the easiest foiling method. So what you do is you take your stencil and you put it down on any of your cardstock, and then you're going to use Deco Foil Duo Gel, okay? And Duo Gel is the only one that will work with or without heat. Uh, once it dries completely, it takes about 24 hours to dry. It will go from a milky white to clear. You can put your foil over it, and then you can either run it through your laminator, your mink machine, or dry um, without any heat through your die cutting system and it will press the foil into your gel and you can see when you reveal the foil you have some of that cool texture from the paste but you have this wonderful uh, foiled look as well and it gives you a little bit of dimension so these are some samples I did previously and uh, these two are both Catherine Pooler stencils uh, this is the swoop stencil this is the square dance stencil and this one is a picket fence studios stencil but all of these use the same technique which is transfer gel duo first let it uh, dry for 24 hours completely then apply your foil and remove the foil and you have these cool backgrounds so that's the only one i'm not going to demonstrate just because i've shown it so many times before all right so the next one i'm going to show is the most traditional way which is just using ink. So I will say when it comes to using stencils, some kind of spray works good to help adhere your stencils. The only time I don't use this is when I'm doing any kind of foiling. I don't like to use pixie spray near my foiling, but on the rest of these methods, yes, you want to spray down your stencil, give it a minute to dry. Um, it becomes tacky then and it is removable, but pixie spray is a lifesaver when it comes to having stencils and not letting them move around anywhere. So this one is called the Heart Stream. And again, it is from Colorful Life Designs. I'm gonna take some ink, ink blending. And that's all I'm gonna do is just put that down. And of course I can change my colors. I can intensify my colors, make them darker, go down and make them lighter, kind of have this ombre look. Um, but that's probably, the easiest way to use stencils, just some simple ink blending. Ta-da! All right, so that's number one. Well, actually, I guess that would be number two. And then to wipe your stencil, you just spray it with a little bit of cleaner, wipe it down with a microfiber towel, and then uh, this still has some of that uh, pixie spray on the back. Just lift that off and then store your stencils as you, as you normally would, okay? Pretty simple. All right. For the next one, it's using any kind of paste. So if you have any kind of Nuvo paste, opal polishes, uh, Gina K glitter paste, any of your paste, maybe you make your own paste. And this is the pause. We have a new dog in our house, so I thought this would make a great background for him and again I have some of that some of that um, pixie spray down on there and I do like the Gina K paste because it's very easy to clean up um, you should try to get your stencil over to the sink or some running water as soon as possible but you guys will see here I'm just going to use some wet wipes and it will clean up very easily for us so this is the Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel. I'll link this for you. This is the black. I did a comparison video on Glitz Glitter Gels, and the Gina K by far came out on top. So they do come with this kind of clear coating on the top, and all you want to do before you use it is just kind of mix everything together. Um, I do recommend using some kind of uh, saran wrap or what's that... Uh, peel and stick you guys know what I'm talking about the uh, press and press and 
press and go film using some of that to kind of keep your gels from in your glitter paste from drying out they will eventually dry out but i found that these dry out the slowest compared to everything else that i have and again these were the easiest to clean up and if you want to see that video i will link it at the end for you guys And that's all you do is you take a palette knife. Now, I like to go in one direction with my palette knife. If you go, you know, back and forth, up and down, you're going to get some streakiness in when you're applying your product. Also, um, it's possible then for your product to go under the stencil. So I generally try to make sure I'm doing everything in one direction. Any excess that you have, again, you can put that back in the jar. And I, you know, if this one's getting a little bit dried out, I've put some, I can uh, reconstitute it with some uh, gel gloss medium and put some press and seal on the top of there and keep that nice and uh, gooey for the next time we want to use it. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera. And then I just take a wet wipe, wipe off my palette knife. And I'm going to do the same thing with my stencil. I'm going to lift my stencil and I want to set this somewhere to dry. Look at how cute, how adorable. So we're gonna put that one aside. And then to clean up, we just use, I said the Gina K is the easiest to clean up. Anything that's easy to clean up wins for me. And I'm just using some generic wet wipes here. Just wipe the stencil. You'll see how easy that comes off. I cannot say that about the other glitter paste. A lot of those, you really got to get in there and scrub to get it off. Well, not with the Gina K's. Hands down the best ones. You get more for your money, and they are by far the easiest to clean up. I don't need to go. My sink is upstairs. I'm in the basement, and we don't have a sink down here. So I don't need to go upstairs to the bathroom and clean these off. If you're using any other paste or gel, you do want to clean those off immediately. Otherwise, it will stick to your stencil and it'll affect how it works next time. Okay, so that's pretty good. We're going to set that aside to dry. All right. The next one we're going to do is a little bit more fun. And this is going to be using some of the watercolor crystals. So I've sprayed the back of this one already. And this one is called Seahorses. Now this is watercolor paper, so we'll see how this reacts. I've already done a background with some of those powders. I'm going to grab my Distress Sprayer. Hopefully we can get this to stick. And then I'm going to grab it in any of my watercolor crystals. So we have Color Sparks by Ken Oliver. Of course, Ken Oliver has um, Color Bursts. We have Lindy's Magical Shakers. We have more Lindy's. We have um, Nouveau Shimmer Powders, Brushos, Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder. So you have all of these, and a lot of you guys have made your own with reinkers. So you can take, I showed that you can take your reinkers and add a little uh, of that in with some water. You can also add a little bit of mica in here as well and make your own misters um, and uh, water coloring. So let's see here. Um, I think I have like a silver or gray. I wanted them to be kind of subtle. I already have like a pink, purple, blue background going on here. So I'm trying to think what would actually stand out. Maybe a green. And we don't want it to be too bright. We want it to be kind of subtle. Okay. I'm going to just choose the Nouveau Shimmer Powder. These two. 
We'll do one lit. See, I think that's just gonna blend in too much. Let's go with a darker blue. Make up your mind, Nance. All right, we're gonna use this Prussian blue, which is a darker blue. And all you're gonna do is you can pre-wet by just lightly misting over the stencil. If your mister wants to work today, mine clearly does not, okay. Um, and then you're just going to sprinkle your powders over. I might have way too much on here. And then again, lightly mist. I'm gonna use this mister. It already has some purple ink in there. We'll use, we'll use that. And then you just wanna give that a second to get through the stencil. You don't want it to be too wet, so you wanna grab a paper towel and just lift. So we're gonna have double color here because we use the mister which had color in it and we used the, the uh, watercolor crystals. like Ta -da! okay so we have some background little seahorses there all right very mixed media again you just want to wipe your stencils down let me show you guys that on a plain piece of paper so this still has a little bit of tack to it and any of your sprays that you have. So whether you have your make your own sprays. Um, what do we have? Glimmer mists, things like that. You just want to kind of stay back, miss that. And it's better to use mixed media or heavier card stock for this. So that it accepts all of that spray. Whoops just lifted right off there you go get a better idea much cleaner and this is a hundred and ten pound I think this is my accent opaque 120 pound accent opaque background paper cardstock that I'm using so using sprays and then uh, the last one I sh wanted to show you was also using sprays I'm going to use some distress oxide sprays Oh no, I was going to do perfect pearls. Sorry. Perfect pearls. So to use your perfect pearls, you're going to put your cardstock down. Grab our stencil. This one is called Bunch of Bunnies. Great for Easter. I do kind of want to make sure that's straight, don't I? All right, and what we're gonna do here is we are going to take our Versamark ink pad, stamp that down through the stencil. Make sure everything is nice and sticky. And then we're gonna grab either your micas or perfect pearls, whatever you have, and just brush some color on. I think this one's called bubble gum. Berry Twist, it's called. Okay, let's do a nice, 
yellow. This one's called Perfect Gold. This one's got a big old chunk of glitter with it. And if you have the Arteza Micas, those will work too. I have some of those. Uh, pan pastels would work if you have chalk or pastels. You can use those. Any medium you have, it will stick to this sticky powder. Okay, this one's called Sour Apple. Raspberry, let me see, turquoise, we're going to go turquoise, turquoise is much more pastel, lighter color. Now with Perfect Pearls, you do have to set them with a mist of water. They do have a binder built into them already, so you don't need to mix anything. With the Arteza Micas, you need to mix some um, gum, gum Arabic, which will cause the, the powders to set and sit better. Um, or you can spray the top of it with some uh, clear Krylon spray, which is like clear uh, spray paint, basically. And last but not least, we have some purple here. My brush is shedding. This is called Grape Fizz. Just really light, subtle colors there. Brush off the excess. Okay, and then once we reveal, we have these fun, shimmery little Easter rabbits in the background. And then a spritz of water will set those in place. I spray the water in the air, pull my card through it, and then that should set it into place. Take a soft brush and make sure everything is where it should be. some of that excess all right so that's pretty much it you guys let me go through I know that was really quick but again these are probably all items you already have in your craft supply room and just needed a reminder of using them I know I don't use my stencils enough let me just wipe this little area down here and again, I will link these stencils were all from A Colorful Life Designs. I have an affiliate link down below for you and a discount coupon if you are interested in checking them out. They have a whole bunch of stencils. That's what they specialize in. They have super fast shipping. Um, and again, I will link for you the Pixie Spray where you can pick that up. Definitely going to recommend that. So we had the first way, which was just using ink. We have the Duo Gel, which was going to allow you to foil. We have using uh, Micas or Perfect Pearls. We have using Glitter Paste. 
that's actually almost dry. And we have using sprays. So there we go. There's one, two, three, four, five ways of using your stencils. Um, oh, six actually, because I forgot about the watercolor powders. They're sitting right in front of me. So six different ways of using your stencils in your card making. So again, you have Duo Gel um, from Deco Foil or any clear transparent paste will work, such as the Ranger transparent glossy paste will also work, but you have to use heat on that one. Um, using your traditional ink blending will work. Using Perfect Pearls or Arteza Micas. Using your glitter paste or Nuvo paste or um, opal polishes, those will all work. Any kind of paste that you can use through a spatula. You have any kind of sprays that you have, whether you make your own sprays or you purchase sprays. And then you have using the uh, watercolor pigments. So color burst, brushos, any of those pigments that are in a powder form, you can sprinkle that in and then spray the water on it. All right. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If you have any questions about anything I used, let me know down below. I will link everything in the description for you. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks for watching guys and keep on stamping, foiling, stenciling, spraying, inking, everything. <laughs> Bye guys.